Hello and welcome to Opto Materials. Today we are going to learn the art of subjective refraction. This subjective refraction can be performed in a various ways. This could be monocular subjective refraction or binocular subjective refraction. But today in this video we will be mainly focusing on the few components of the monocular subjective refraction. When we do this, we perform fogging, we refine the axis and the power of this cylinder and we find out the monocular spherical endpoints. And then later we do a binocular subjective refraction like balancing the accommodation. So today we will be focusing on the fogging. But before I go ahead and tell you about details of the fogging like prerequisites, the step-by-step -step processes involved in it as well as the clinical pearls related to this and the starting point of the fogging. Fogging is a technique used in refraction to blur up the distance target by using plus lenses over the retinoscopic lens. Fogging is done to relax the accommodation and for the high probe it is mainly done from high plus to low plus and for the myo it is done from the low minus to high minus. The prerequisites for the fogging are the retinoscopy, the trial lens set as well as the distance visual equity chart. Friends, do you know what is the ideal lens to be used while fogging? The best way to find the lens for the fogging is by performing the NRA. The NRA we have already covered in our previous lecture. The link is in the description. You can learn more about them. Some scholars also use partial method of fogging by using half of that normal NRA value, 1.25. That can also be considered as a partial fogging and that can, you can use as a fogging method. We just understood how power for the fogging lens is decided. But what could be the starting point of this fogging? Let me tell you with certain examples. There could be a three condition. So first condition could be where we get only spherical value on our retinoscopy or autorefractometer. So in that condition, we have to add NRA value. If we are doing full fogging or if you are doing a partial fogging, you may add plus 1.25. So, for example, if you are getting plus 1 on the net retinoscopy, so starting point of the fogging will be plus 3.5, considering NRA to be plus 2.5. So, I'll use this 3.5 as the starting lens for the fogging. And from here, we have to defog the eye. So, the rule is you have to add the lens first before removing the previous lenses. So, initially, the visual equity will be poor and the moment you will defog the eye the visual equity will keep on improving so this is 2.5 gradually you have to decrease these values decrease the power of the lenses plus 1.5 are you able to read the second last line now I will further decrease so are you able to read the last line what's that can you read so this is the end point of the fogging this is the power that we have got out of the initial lenses our net retinoscopy was plus 1 and while fogging we got 1.25 so this is how fogging can be done for the spherical lenses. Let's understand how the fogging will be done for the other eye when we have a cylinder of minus 1. Another situation could be the sphero cylinder where sphere and cylinder both are present but cylinder is less or equal to minus 1 diopter. In such condition, starting point of the fogging can be achieved by adding fogging lens with the spherical equivalent value of the condition. For example, if we have plus 3 with minus 1 cylinder at 180, the spherical equivalent will be plus 2.5 and suppose NRA was plus 2.5 by adding this both will get plus 5 and this plus 5 will be the starting point of fogging and from plus 5 we have to gradually defog this value. Remember that when you are defogging for the hyperopic lens, 
the new lens is added first before removing the previous lenses also a situation can happen when visual equity may not further improve with certain lenses in that condition you have to add the half of the cylinder here minus 1 was the cylinder so you have to introduce 0.5 cylinder at the same axis and slowly you have to increase the cylinder till the patients achieve the best visual equity in this way you will get the sphere as well as cylinder so let's understand the fogging of the left eye the starting fogging lens we got was plus 5 so we have to defog this so we have to use the another lens 4.5 i have used and then slowly we have to defog further so next lens is plus 4 i'm removing plus 4.5 and then 3.75 and the visual equity of the patient will improve so we have to keep on decreasing this plus 3.5 now the same rule we have to add the lens and we have to remove that so are you able to read the second last line no patient cannot read so i'll further decrease this value to see whether we can achieve some better visual equity are you able to read the second last line no patient cannot read the second last line so we have to go back to our previous lens 3.25 so i'm adding this 3.5 and i'm removing plus 3 and since patient is not further improving with plus lenses so we have to add cylinder because in the retinoscope we have got the minus 1 so i'm going to add half of this cylinder at the same axis of 180 with minus 0.5 are you able to read now yes. so second last line patient is able to read can you read the last line no. no so patient cannot read so we have to increase the cylinder value so i am going to add minus 0.75 and see whether patient can read can you read the last line now the patient can read so this is the end of the fogging we got plus 3.5 and minus 0.75 cylinder at 180 axis third condition could be a sphero cylinder where cylinder is higher than one diopter in such situation the starting point of the fogging can be achieved by adding the fogging lens to the sphere and reducing the cylinder to the half for example considering a situation where sphere is plus 1.5 with cylinder of minus 1.5 at 180 we can get the starting point of the fogging by adding the nra value suppose nra value was plus 2.5 so we have to add directly to the spherical component so it will be plus 4 and we have to reduce this cylinder to the half so it will be 0.75 diopter these are the net retinoscopic value for the right eye as well as left eye the right eye is plus 1 and the left eye is plus 1.5 with Minus 1.5 cylinder at 180. So let me show you how we decide the initial fogging lenses. The NRA value for the both eye was plus 2.5. So if we add these two values, so right eye will become as plus 3.5. This will be the starting point of the fogging. And for the left eye, if I add 2.5, it will become plus 4. Another important thing about the fogging is that we have to reduce this cylinder because cylinder value was higher than minus 1 so we have to make it half so by keeping 0.75 in front of the left eye this is going to be my starting fogging point for the refraction here i am going to defog the left eye the starting lens was plus 4 with minus 0.75 at the axis of 180 i am going to decrease the plus power gradually and simultaneously the patient will be asked to read the chart and you have to keep on decreasing till the patient's visual equity improve during this process a situation may occur when visual equity will not improve after a certain line you have to use the maximum plus lens and then you introduce the cylindrical lenses here in this case we have already taken the half of the cylinder compared to the net retinoscopy value so we will make changes to this cylinder at the steps of 0.25 and we'll see how visual equity is improving but remember that for every cylinder that you add you have to 
do the or you have to add half of the sphere also for example from 0.75 minus 0.75 if you add or uh, 0.5 further to it so you have to add 0.25 sphere also to maintain the spherical equivalent in this way you will be able to achieve the best sphere and cylindrical lenses using the technique of fogging for the subjective refraction you may use duochrome jcc other method of binocular balancing which will cover in upcoming videos friends we have got the right combination of lenses under fogging so for the right eye it is plus 1.25 and for the left eye it is plus 2 with minus 1.5 So this is slightly different from what we had got in the net retroscopy value, and this is how we do this technique of fogging for the subjective refraction. Hope this video was useful and informative to you. Please like, share, and subscribe.